This is my HTC Eris running uh, Android version 2.1 with the new Sense UI. Uh, you can see it looks like a normal Eris. The calendar widget here, this is a built-in Android widget, has been updated. Um, we also now have this power bar up here, the power control widget that's native to uh, 2.1. And then we have some of the uh, HTC type uh, widgets here. You can see we've got the uh, the new overview, which is pretty cool, you can quickly jump to any of your um, any of your home screens, uh, which is definitely convenient. And then you can tap whichever one you want to go to. Um, there's the agenda, and then um, there's all those. So we also have a few new applications in here. Uh, one of them is the desk clock. Uh, this was not a part of the original uh, HTC Eris firmware so when you touch it you've got uh, alarms you can set various um, various things there you can also rotate it in landscape mode and it's kind of small it would be better if you could make it bigger which I don't think you can um, but so that's one of the new features another new feature is the um, GPS with navigation. Here it is right here, the navigator. So when we launch that, this is uh, this is actually kind of a, a car friendly interface. So we've got footprints here. You could jump straight to navigation. There's voice search. You can view your map. You can search. You can also make a phone call through here. So when we touch the navigation one, this is going to launch Google Maps. And in here we can press menu and there's the navigation there. So uh, we now have navigation within Google Maps which is definitely cool. And that's really all the differences that I've discovered now. It's much faster uh, when using the Eris before the Eris was insanely slow. Um, so I'm definitely glad to have the update just for that. You can see the market's been updated a little bit as well. We now have this Verizon uh, submenu over here which we didn't previously have. These are some that are recognized or uh, recommended by Verizon, so uh, you can kind of check out things for there. But that is the new update. It was really, really easy uh, to apply. You just put the zip file in the root folder of your memory card and then boot with both the end and send buttons being held down and then follow the directions on screen. So it was really easy to do and it's definitely a big improvement. Uh, the only thing that I've noticed thus far is every time you reboot the phone, you have to re-enter your Google password. Uh, other than that, it seems to work just fine. Hopefully Verizon uh, and HCC will release the official update really, really soon so that we have the full, um, the full experience.